Yeah, we don't like the taste of metals. We're live now and they can hear us uh, debate whether other rocks that we eat are tasty. Salt is the only tasty rock. I'm going to Google this. What rocks do we eat? Well, uh, we, we, whether or not we eat them is not up for debate. You know, we yeah. eat. Oh, I know, I know. I'm just looking to see, like, what. Just to, just uh, to check the list. list. Like, taste... and we forgot about quartz, how yeah. we like quartz. Quartz yeah. just tastes like rock. Uh, who hasn't yeah. crunched a little bit of quartz when you're a child? I definitely remember putting quartz in my mouth as a yeah. kid. Yeah, me too. Me too. What's your and favorite can't... precious stone as a kid? Mine was amethyst. Whoa, this is a fucked up Reddit post. Wow. Uh, hold on. Uh, other salts. This is this is someone asked why is salt the only good tasting rock? Um, and this part of this person's response is other salts have taste, but it's mostly terrible. And the only reason sodium chloride is a rock is because it's very stable at the temp and pressure on Earth that humans like. If we were on any other planet, you'd be like, yum, this silver acetate is delicious. And sodium that's chloride so would burn your face off. I don't know if that's oh. true. It's just from Western Guy 339 on Reddit, but <laughs> sounds like a racist. Why do you think he's a racist? What? His name's Western Guy? I mean, look, Keith, he might be at the um furthest point west before it becomes east from the other he's direction. The, he's the titular Western man. <laughs> when on, they, I'm gonna look he's the one that we ask which way. And he says, go west. And he says racism. No, That's the I way. Don't, I don't know if this man is. Uh, this is like it's like when you see someone with a uh, with like a Greek sculpture as their avatar, and their name is like Bronze Age. Like you just oh, know, you know, yeah, when their name is like Bronze Age, yeah. yeah. Um. <sighs> Ugh. Uh, my favorite as a kid. Uh, my favorite um, precious gems were ruby because my favorite color was red. Emerald because of Sonic the Hedgehog, um, and uh, um, Topaz uh, because I just liked it and it was it has a fun name. Yeah, 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 yeah. It having a fun name is a critical part of gem appreciation as yeah. a as a kid. Yeah, I was I was into gems as a kid. I loved gems. Who doesn't love gems as a kid? Yeah, I don't know. Did don't you love gems as a kid, Dre? Yeah, 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 yeah. Gems. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had, a, we had is... a gem store in the mall that you could go to. That's so funny because we had a gem store in the mall. It wasn't yeah, a gem man. store. It was a Discovery Channel store. Oh, that sounds... Oh, I remember wow. those. And in the Discovery store, there was like a, you know, a curio dis like cabinet that was full of, of purchasable uh, uh, gems, like tiny little... You know they weren't they were faceted ruby like stones and stuff like that. I there was a gem shop in the town uh, near where I grew up, but we couldn't afford any of the gems. So for me, the gem shop was like a real sort of like site of longing. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. you go into yeah. the gem shop and you you uh, you want the beautiful colors. Yeah, so bad. Oh, you want them so bad. Oh, do you know it's a tremendous treat as a child on vacation is uh or like just on a on a trip to the city is going to a place that has a gift store and in that gift store is the bucket of polished stones oh yeah and you get to you get to pick you get to like get a little sack full of polished stones that thing is great yeah absolutely and yeah. then they and then they just sit in your room in your yeah, room then just, you have <laughs> you polished just, stones. But you, yeah but you have them you have them. But you do have them. Unfortunately, it's the... Do you have them? The, <laughs> the best part of that is the part where you get to, like, stick your hands into a 10-inch 10, 10 deep bucket of the stones and just yep. have your hands engulfed by stones, yep. which is tough to do with a satchel, a small a small satchel of stones. It can't... No, yeah, but you can play games about which one am I going to remove from the satchel, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's that's also pretty critical. Uh, Dre, Dre, um, something weird happens when Keith and I uh do a game stream where we just we throw in some bonus podcasts. This one's about <laughs> yeah. Gems. No, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here for it. We were we were podcasting before you got here when we were waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what were you podcasting about? I was just rattling on about uh uh. 
Tears of the Tears Kingdom. of Kingdom mostly, mm -hmm. and then also that I need a laptop stand. Oh, yeah, that's true. But then the I laptop, it's it's too small to see the screen small. of when it's on my little table. Uh, Jack, how small is too small for a laptop? Uh, well, so the thing is, I used to have an extremely tiny laptop. I used to have one of those tiny MacBooks, um, and I mm -hmm. loved it so much. It was absurdly small. Um, those were like 13 inches, or were they even smaller? Even smaller, I think. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, wasn't there like an 11 inch like MacBook Air I think or something? That might have been the one that I had, but then it 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 it, it just it became untenable. I think sure. God, what? I think Partisan might have killed that laptop. Um, mm. which is whenever I do a synth heavy laptop, I get to test sort of like the current computing against my yeah. synthesizers, and it, it, the synthesizers almost always win. Yeah. Um, yeah. Man, Mac laptops really love to work great until they don't, and then yeah. they just like yeah, yeah, fall yeah. off a cliff. Midway through a season, occasionally for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the good news, though, Jack, is that processors are getting really inexpensive. It is like it's been getting more and more expensive to get a nice graphics card, but it's beginning less and less expensive to get a nice uh, th processor. This was this I I saw this recently uh, when I was like. My process is fine, uh, but I saw my processor being sold for a price much less than uh, mm -hmm. what I would expect it to be worth. Yeah, yeah. Um, Processing power is cheap these days. Hello, everybody. Um, we are here to play Pacific Drive, um, but you'll notice that I have put a little tiny URL link here. I don't know whether or not I'm going to keep it. I'm going to figure out the place to put it because um, in light of the flower massacre in Gaza um, uh, yesterday, uh, I am the sort of increasing uh, sense of futility uh, that I think people um, feel I would encourage you to, to take action uh, as best as you can. And one of the ways that you can do that is to donate um, eSIMs. Uh, to residents of Gaza and occupied Palestine to allow people not just to um, communicate with uh, uh, communicate outside of the country, but communicate to each other inside the country. The tiny URL that I have uh, linked uh, links to a notion which explains not only how to do it, but uh, allows you to connect with an artist's cooperative who are offering um, donation incentives. You could get small commissions, you could get really uh, interesting zines, you could get um, comics uh, in exchange for proof of receipt of purchase for an eSIM um, for Gaza. Um, I've spent most of the day just in an absolute, uh, malaise about the state of the world. Um, and mm -hmm. I do that too. To a certain extent, um, I don't know how much time I want to spend wringing my own hands about how bad this makes me feel, <laughs> you know? Um, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks top to bottom. And, and yeah. even the slightest actions that we can take, that we are able to take in the positions of power that we are in, are so close to feeling like futility that, you know, um, I don't really know what to do. Um, I would urge you to consider voting uncommitted in the primaries in your states. The, uh, the only language that the Democrats purport to uh, listen to is that of engaging with the democratic process. But as was demonstrated by their response to the Michigan uh, election results, they will also discount uh, uh, uncommitted votes as well. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, if if uh, <laughs> I don't think I don't think here at Friends at the Table we hold. Uh, uh, too much weight on uh, the, the power, the transformative power of American democracy. But if that what? is something that you, if that is something that you, I don't know. I hear Austin talking all uh, the time about how he loves Joe Biden. That's yeah. not true. That, that is, is not fucking true. That don't, is not fucking funny. true. Don't clip that. Don't do anything with it. Um, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. You, you, I don't know how we're supposed to keep doing the things that we're doing. You know. Buying groceries uh, and going to the shops and 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 doing work, um, but here we are. So, mm -hmm. did you? Were you going to say something, Keith? Uh no, just that there that there's uh there's just a real sense that any time 
I get to thinking about it or talking about it in any real way, I'm going to start screaming. Yeah. Uh, which like no, that is the logical scream. response. Um. Uh. Like you know, I don't think anyone here needs to hear me scream and shout about how terrible and awful it is and how the fucking like the 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 the, the, the uh, I mean I'm at a I'm at a loss for uh words that that don't get you banned from Twitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yep. Yeah. Um let's play Pacific Drive. I you know there is no there is no there is no uh smooth way to move from one thing into the other because you can't move from one thing into the other you know both 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 the state the state of the world is happening all the time to everybody um yeah, yeah. uh but this is a a a a driving game um about exploring a post-apocalyptic uh pacific northwest if you are familiar with the excellent stalker series of games i think you'll probably find a lot of commonality here that is to say it is a systems heavy uh open world game uh about uh trying to survive in a sort of strange post-apocalyptic zone i haven't played any of this uh have either of you no. Uh, no. Earlier today and maybe also last night I opened Steam and this was like the like preview game ad that I got and I was like, "Oh, that kind of looks pretty cool." And I put it on my wish list and I saw one friend already owns this game and it was Jack. And that's <laughs> it's, it's that's me. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I sort of uh, an oblique shout out to the studio that makes this game. Um I Sorry. bought oblique shout out an oblique shout out not oblique shout out no no not oblique shout out i i i mean it's kind of bleak i no, we did that earlier sure. <laughs> i bought this game and then uh, they sent me a press code for it so i don't really know what the <laughs> etiquette is hey, there you know yeah. where are my hey where are my press codes i don't get press codes you should you ask. ask who well jinxies anybody cool listen keith i guess yeah. Yeah. stop put stop putting it out there um, yeah. Just uh, yeah. do you have run button emails? Just make an account that's like pr at runbutton.com and then. Well, yeah, the we PR have, stands we... for please respond. <laughs> please yeah. respond. Yeah. Uh, be um, P R W K, which is please respond with keys. Yeah, with keys. Um, I Jack, saw... before we get going, can you Try. share a screen to us? Oh yes, I always forget to do this. Um, that's okay. I do too. Uh, here we go. I never forget that. Oh, it's because you're a pro, Keith. Yeah. Just try, wow. try and I just rank amateurs. <laughs> yep. I mean, compared to Keith, yes. Yep. I, yeah. <laughs> yep. Compared to Keith. I do, I do have a wealth of experience. Yeah. Keith ain't new go. to this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw a TikTok about this ages ago, and it was one of those things where um, uh, I'm exactly that kind of asshole that doesn't watch trailers for games I'm going to play because I'm like, <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, sure. But I saw a clip on TikTok that was so startling and and exciting that it made me go, oh shit! I wish I'd seen that in game. But now we get to show it to to, to everybody else. Um, yeah. I gotta say, I love the production design of these menus. Ooh, look at this! Look at this. I oh. love this. Yeah, this is great. I love this music too. It's yeah, really pretty. Intense music. Explore mm -hmm. self guided tour. Ho Rainforest, Hurricane Ridge, Calalock and Ruby Beach, Lake. You know Crescent. what this reminds me of? This reminds me. I mean, obviously, it is. It's a. It is directly, um, referencing. You know, a, a, uh, an aesthetic, but it's doing the same. It's addressing the same thing that uh, uh, the Psychonauts game, specifically Psychonauts Two, is uh is referencing and it's lo it looks great i think it is, is great it's really good. oh the, these visuals people aren't hearing yeah. the music uh that the, yeah the game is quiet i've turned it up um you should be able to start to hear it more as we play hmm. um do you hear anything at all chat now for what it's worth i can hear but same i'm yeah. not i'm not twitch so Twitch was also having trouble figuring out our audio earlier, but there's some gentle ambience. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna bump it up a bit, and we can we can adjust because it's also gonna be engine sounds. So we'll we shall see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, the thing that this music is reminding me a lot of is um John Hopkins' incredible soundtrack for 
the movie Monsters. Did either of you see that? It was years ago. No. It was a Gareth Edwards movie. He went on to make uh, Rogue One. Um, oh. Uh, and it's a sort of dreamy post-apocalypse. Um, all right. Let's go. I don't think I need to customize my settings. Oh, I saw a brief thing. I think it said radiation levels over there. Ah, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's probably fine. Probably okay. In 1947, uh... the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Probably only good stuff. Probably. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Ooh. Got a little shipping manifest. Stay on the roads. So we have we smuggled whoa, ourselves whoa. in? Whoa, oh, wait, whoa, hang whoa. on. We wait, 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 wait. I think I need to turn on streamer mode. <laughs> oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. hate this shit. Why? Because uh, uh, I um, disabled copyrighted music from playing on the car radio. Oh. Ugh. I don't... Uh... That's a shame. I know. It's I didn't. I didn't hear. I did. I didn't register whatever the music was. I mean, we're still getting this kind of like Godspeed yeah. you Black Emperor ass. <laughs> yeah. Fucking great. Okay, gas. I love it in a video game when you drive a car and you can just like look down at your. Like, whoa, whoa, wipers. Yeah. Oh, do you need a do you need to get a gamepad, Jack, so that you can drive with a thumbstick? Uh, weirdly, I, I thought about this. Um, are our levels okay? The music is loud for me, and I want to make sure people can hear. I think we should be fine. Um, no, I'm just gonna drive like this. I think I want to be able to move the mouse around inside the cockpit. The cockpit. Mm -hmm. The what's it called? The car. Yeah, the cabin. Yeah, the car. The, the yeah, the cabin. That's right. So far. You should probably turn your lights on. Oh my god, we got we got lyrics. Ooh, fa fa uh, royalty free lyrics. Um, you know what? I'm actually louder than everybody else, uh, so I'm gonna just turn myself down. Uh, okay, probably be good. I, I just want to listen to the stream for yeah, yeah, yeah. the music. You might have to paint behind. Paint behind okay. I, I think the game volume could go up a smidge, but I also don't think it's an issue right now. Okay, cool. The engine sounds good. The music is a little quiet. Oh, weird. Look, there's some sort of structure on the horizon up there. Oh, toggle wipers. Oh, yeah. Took that corner a little wonkily. That's fine. That's fine. Did you hit the guardrail? <laughs> You're going to see some really good driving in this stream. Well, I understand, you know, Whoa. you're used to being on the other side of the road. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, <laughs> well, you are on the, you are Jack, on the other side of Jack, the road. Jack, that's the joke. That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is also very Stalin hard, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I didn't know what the game was. I still don't really know what the game is, but I had said that it, uh, that it looked like it was sort of like Simon Stalin Hog Forza Horizon. Oh, it is. You, uh, no, but but interesting. You talk about Forza Horizon quite a lot. It's really good. Yeah, they're really games. Good. It's like the only good live service game. You might. I don't know if it's successful. Wait, let me get my wipers good. on. Shit. I had to look down at the keyboard to turn my wipers on. Shit. Mm. You're doing great. Thank you. Um, simply the act of like only ever 
or pretty much only ever being in your car and driving around and driving around like in the woods is already kind of Forza Horizon to me. God, the rain map. sound dying. I'm going to switch Ooh. to my gamepad and see if... Um... <laughs> you know, you still should... Be. Most games will let you use the mouse look. Okay, hang on. Wait a second. Wipers in... off. What are my shortcuts? Oh, oh shit. Okay, wipe. Oh, that's dark. Wipers is left on the D-pad. That is right. Okay, cool. Oh, I thought it said right bumper. Was so you've got like a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, like, nor like real car activities to handle. Oh yeah, this is this side. game. Okay. What side of the road do the Americans drive on? So what's the right that? side? Oh, God. Keith, did you hear that, like, tape loop distortion on the music there? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. High R levels facility. Oh, Extreme caution advised. So have we smuggled ourselves into... We might have done, yeah. This zone yeah. to, like, investigatively report it? We might be about to smuggle ourselves in. This might be the border wall. Oh, sure. Oh, you're... Hey, something's happened to your, your radio. You're laughing. Yeah, we're crossing the border, I bet. Warning. And the text just haven't loaded in. Or oh, that's I just how it's supposed smudged. to look. Yeah, I yeah. think it just might be a bad sign, poorly made sign. This is a place of honor. <laughs> the way the car is rocking on this road is really, really good. It's really good. Oh, I don't um, need my wipers anymore. No. What hey, was what that? was that? I don't know. Do, uh... Uh, we all drive here, right? I don't drive. You don't drive? Never drove? I mean, I uh, I've drive. driven a bit. Fortune. I've driven, driven a bit. Tractors. Yeah. Something weird is happening. Yeah, that's it not, is happening. That's not Whoa. good and normal. Can you, what happens if you drive into that? Oh, okay. It, it went away. It's fine and normal now. There's particles floating here. Hmm. Particles to... In my experience, particles don't do much floating. No, no. Whoa. Oh, that's a rock. This seems bad. I'm just going to sort of keep going and we'll see. We'll sh we shall see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Okay. All right. I'm putting myself in the shoes of this, of this, uh, of oh, this muck raker here. My engine has died. Oh, uh, we're we're gonna die. Now, Jack, I know you said you don't drive very often, but that's a pretty normal occurrence. They do that quite often in cars, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we got ourselves an anomaly. Look at that. Oh wow. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, is oh, anyone... oh, you got red stuff on your screen. <laughs> I and do you get green stuff on your screen. Yeah. This is a floating tire. Oh, oh hey. look. Uh, shout out to sponsored by Subway who just subscribed with Prime. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. Passing on a little bit of that sponsorship. Yeah. That's a great like, effect. Look at this, like this, Ooh, like that's fun. VHS effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, wait. Is I got it this raining? One. It's not raining, but it sounds like it's raining. Oh no, it is raining. It's like reverse raining. It sometimes looks like it's raining. Yeah. That's a really cool sort of like busted VHS effect in the in the audio as well. Mm -hmm. Where's my car? I feel separated from my... Uh... The yeah. car is also feeling separated right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You keep running into your car. It's yeah, just that's yeah. Not, not the shape you want it to be. Caution. Oh, yeah. Get down in that good, clean water. Yum. Um, uh, honestly, did not expect 
you to be out of the car in this game. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought that this was going to be an, a car inside the car game. Um, I am so excited for you to learn what this game is, Keith. Okay. Kick. It has drive in the name, and so oh, I thought it was. Kick? I thought it was really like a car. It was going to be like a, a car, a sci-fi car roguelike. Damn. Well, okay, now we know because you can kick everything that this game is like Duke Nukem. Right, right, right. Oh, oh. Oh. Come oh. out there. Hello. Oh, we've we've oh, met the eventual it. villain. <laughs> wow. Francis, the radar Poor Tobias. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Oh. Beautiful. My beautiful car. Oh. Put my the wheel back. Car. On. My beautiful car by Elena Ferranti. Uh, I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, I kicked it instead. I know where the um, wheels go. People in the chat talking about Stalker, um, and uh, uh, someone asked what I, I missed it. This was like a few minutes ago, so I don't I don't have the actual comments here. Someone was like, "What was the book that Stalker is based on called?" And someone else replied that it was uh, called Roadside Picnic, which uh, it's like such a great, great title. Name. Love that title. It's great. Roadside Picnic. What you know why it's called Roadside it? Picnic, Keith? No, I don't. It is called Roadside Picnic because in the book Stalker. Um, the zone uh, full of its anomalies is created by aliens who leave the anomalies behind in much the same way as a family having a roadside picnic would leave, you know, uh, uh, an empty can of Coca-Cola wow, or something so by the side of the road. Tremendous. Isn't that great? Clean up your trash. Aliens. Aliens or kick and it. people. Yeah, yeah. Take, leave no, leave only footsteps, take only memories. Th it's actually, yes, it's actually a metaphor for uh, uh, leaving things in a better condition than how you found them. Mm-hmm. My beautiful car. Ooh, start the engine. Okay. Great. Oh. Signal, yes, it's back, it's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid-zone sector B. Do you read me? Yep. I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. <laughs> I love to hear a guy doing an accent. Uh-huh. In general. Hey, in the outer zone over here. Hey. hey we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? Yeah, but I don't know how to talk to you. They, they, they don't have a transmitter. Oh. We won't hear a thing back. Wow, he's got an accent too. Yeah. But if they're stranded, could they mean they're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you oh, can, shit. and be quick about it. I ran out oh. of fuel. Are you out of gas? Yeah. Oh, it says siphon fuel? fuel? Okay. Let's see. Oh, can God. you get out of your car and push? Oh, I wonder if I can push. You're in park, so maybe not. Oh, not now. I was wondering what would that like. Oh yeah, I think it's a tutorial. Was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if I can push. You gotta put it in neutral if you're gonna push it. I don't have if neutral. I have hard yeah, would drive. Park drive. Honk. Oh, can oh, you not get honk. out when it's? Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah, kick it. Oh. Uh, oh, it, it ran me over. It pushes you. Let's see. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, uh -oh. look, sometimes you push the car. Hey, look, sometimes you push the car, and sometimes the car pushes you. Wow, it's really and going for it down this into hill. The bushes. Yeah. Okay, so you hang out there. I'll get the fuel can. Oh, it's connected it's by junk. Yeah. Yeah, it's gooped up. Oh, it's gooped up. Got it. It might be deliberately gooped up. That might be where we... Sylvie in the chat says, you made it mad. No, Sylvie... 
my relationship with this car is a loving one. This car and I yeah. are going to be comrades. Mm -hmm. Aside from fuel for the broken down car. This car, however, this car is a real piece of shit. Can I kick this? Yeah, fuck that car. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, you've even got a siphon. Look at that. Oh, that's really good. You don't just have to. You don't have to do the classic. Although this would have been a fun animation, sucking on the hose and having to spit <laughs> out. Some oh, it sucks. I've done that. That thing. Have oh, you done this? Wow. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. I've never done it. That sounds. I've awful. also never done that. Oh, it's awful. I don't, re <laughs> don't do recommend it. Do you know what it. I? Do you know what's so fun about uh? What they're just you know you notice things recurring when you watch uh the show Taskmaster. Yes. One of my favorite recurring bits is comedians not knowing how, how a siphon, siphon works. works. <laughs> yes, it's really good. Hello, oh, uh, I know how a siphon really works. good. I think you yeah. would figure it out. Yeah. Thank Just going to store that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey, 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 hey. Angry. Something's angry. Hey, hey, easy. Oh, God, start. Whoa. Oh, uh, this seems bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. How do I make the car sprint? <laughs> I think you just keep holding that butt. Yeah. Oh, 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 the there it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? No kidding. Could it be? A remnant? Could it be? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. What's Look at that remnant? spatial fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's here working wheels in here for... No one's here working wheels. Boy, I've killed to know how a combustion... <laughs> These guys over here, with all their sci-fi stuff... You gotta be kidding me with all this stuff! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Video, video, which in the chat says car talks weirder than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that uh, one of my favorite things about Stalker is how quiet and lonely it is a lot of the time. Yeah, and I don't like that these two guys are just yapping. Yeah, yeah. This is it is indicative of a kind of uh, game where it's like the hardest and most expensive thing that do that we can add to this game is like. Uh, characters walking around and animating, and so we're gonna make our cool idea of a game with no people. But in order to give you a sense of world, we're just gonna have characters who all they oh, do is talk to off. you. I don't know if that's what's gonna happen in this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but uh, you know, like it's not a it's not a criticism. There's games I really like that do that thing. Um, but it is like a kind of game where I'm just like, can you please put a person in here for me to see instead of just like have someone in my ear? Yeah, I'd like a person or alternatively, and I think this or is no a personal taste thing. I'd like to be quiet and lonely in my games more often. I feel the same yeah. way I feel about board games, right? Where it's like my ideal board game either takes- This thing is, is catching you. It's running up to you. No, it's not. It won't come in here. My favorite board game either takes 15 minutes to play or eight hours, and I have limited patience for <laughs> stuff in between. And so I feel like video games should either have no characters in them other than me or a cast of 600 characters. Mm. Crusader Kings is the latter. Um, all right, I'm going to go into obby, obbies. obbies. Uh, Garrulous Bottomless is they up front the yapping quite a bit. Okay, good. Nice. <laughs> that makes sense. How odd. Oh, look. Oh, shit. That's locked. Huh. Employees only. You don't work here. I'm about to. Great that, sound design. That how employment works? <laughs> I'm, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> define work here. Yeah, fair. Oh. Shoot behind the door? Yeah, I think so. my <sighs> head. Emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um To your garage. Own business. Now we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant. 
which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol, uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, Space I will Club. occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Tell her that voice, because like a nail gun to the skull. So, <laughs> another breach, uh huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300-meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Ugh, oh, unfortunately. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Okay. Pick I'm up. going to stay suspiciously behind this wall. <laughs> what? <laughs> you need help? There's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. Okay. Got myself a backpack. Lovely. I'm going to get a mechanic's eye. Headset hanging by the map. Oh, here we are. This. This. Whoa. Cool. Oh, I got you on. You're going to look like uh, Christopher Walken from uh, Mouse Hunt. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in ages. Tremendous. A uh, wildly underrated film. Gonna attend to my wounds. Uh, if anyone hasn't seen it, Christopher Walken in that movie plays a way over the top exterminator who puts on a very silly sort of flight suit goggles contraption. I had no <laughs> idea that was Christopher Walken. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's Christopher Walken. He's being very intense. He's like, Way dialed up the Christopher Walken meanness too. He's uh he's he's and he's usually pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I just saw him in Severance. Oh, he's so Severance, good finally. in Severance. Phenomenal in Severance. Uh, loved it. I'm so glad that I waited two years to watch it, so that now I only have to wait another ten months for the second season to finally come out. Yes. Uh, okay. Pull the car in. Put the wheel back on. Can do. The car I feel very confident about driving. I understand how these mechanics work. Sort of. And it only ran me over once. Ow! I just kicked the car. Wait. I just okay. I found this because I was I was I'm gonna put it in the chat. Uh I was so sure that I was right about those goggles and Christopher Walken. There he is. <laughs> I see. Gonna look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, he looks great. <laughs> God, he looks great. Uh, Cavill Arrest says, wait, is Christopher Walken in Severance? He is. He plays an... I think he, the easiest way to say is that he plays an artist in Severance. He does. Uh, yeah. And he has an extremely cool character arc. Yeah, it's great. It's awesome. It, 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 it was so good. I don't... This is not to diminish it at all. Um, but the second that I saw him... I saw the entirety of that arc play out within the first 15 seconds of that conversation. And it played out exactly like I imagined that it would. And it was great. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was actually, it, it was surprising that I was right about how that would go. Yeah. It was not something I was expecting from the show. Um, but they just sort of telegraphed it perfectly in the, uh, uh, you know. In the yeah, setup. Really yeah. Okay, get myself another wheel. Oh, right. They actually want me to get the wheel that did fall off the car. I thought there was going to be a new one. This wheel had fallen off. Gonna take this. Um, Adam Scott is such a good casting choice. Um, you know, I've... I... 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 
I hate the mining of comedic talent by, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Michael Schur. People by pe- by people casting dramatic shows. Oh, that's Michael Schur, really? I uh, genuinely no, uh, I think of Adam Scott as a Michael Michael Schur. Uh, um, it went that way, right? Like Adam Scott got mined by Michael Schur. Oh, sure. No, I mean the mining of comedic talent by dramatic in- for dramatic roles. Yes. Um, because. I, 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 too many comedic talents are lost permanently once you learn, oh, this particular comedic actor is actually just a tremendous actor. And then they just, uh, but that's they just, just true go. of comedic actors. Comedic actors are the most talented actors um, because it's the hardest kind of acting you can do is comedy. And they, of course, learned to act doing whatever acting they could get, which is all different kinds of acting. Yeah. Um, uh, this is, I believe this, uh, this is a, this is a held belief that I have that comedic actors are the most talented actors. Sorry, we should, we should play the game. Oh no, I think, I think I could, I, it's an argument that makes a lot of sense. Um, we need to build a crude door. This weary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. (laughs) Cool. Great. It will also keep out the wind and the rain. It just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. Oh, Keith, I got some acoustic panels for my office. I was looking at my office and I was like, what here is, um, uh, uh, what I use to make a door. These are very high grade acoustic panels and they are frightening to be around because if you put your head close to them and you make a sound, oh, wow. What you think will happen happens and it sounds very odd. Are these like the octagonal ones or are these like the anechoic big, like huge spikes or is it the egg they crate? They are, um, they look like, uh, these are by ATS Acoustics. Um, they look like a sort of Hessian sack, uh, stretch over, I don't know what they're made of. They're made of wood and something. Such ATS Acoustic panel. <laughs> Um, got these, like, boxes. ATS. Acoustics. Um, Natsuri in the chat points out the the ASCII tools illustrations in this UI. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, I'm going to pin this to my checklist. (laughs) Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Okay, and you can see my checklist to the left. I need two wine glasses, three snails, four sodas, three screws, and together that will let me make a door. Nice. Nice. That is the ingredients of a door. Um, Yeah, I don't have a lot of uh, acoustic stuff. So I have three, like, high pile rugs. Um, which do the bulk of the sound dampening in here. Yeah. And then just a couple, um, uh, let's see, what is that? Two by three, oh, like shitty egg crate style um, things. I have one, two, three, I have four of those. Strategically placed just to reduce reflections off of the walls behind me. Yeah. Um, because, uh, those, if you've ever seen those, like, egg crate or the, like, um, the sort of jagged wave style acoustic panels, this is for the audience, the listeners, uh, the viewers, uh, they don't really do much of anything, but what they do do is cut off the high, uh, frequency reflections off of walls. Uh, and if you're doing a podcast, Stuff echoing off the wall behind you and then back into the front of your mic is a legitimate concern. And uh, I, I think that I can definitely tell. I, I, I'll i say this, is that I've seen everybody's audio files uh, on Friends of the Table, and uh, I think I have the fewest echo. <laughs> um, Sylvie in the chat says, baffling. It seems rather straightforward to me. Um Something that was very sweet was when I was setting up the room for the acoustic treatment, and I still haven't hung them yet. They're just sort of hanging out, <laughs> propped against the wall. They're doing more than they would do if they were in their box, but not sure. much more. Um, a lot of the guides are for like people with fancy uh, speaker setups, right? Um, yeah. And when you're setting it up for a musician or for a podcaster, you are the speaker. I'm I'm the speaker in this right. instance. 
Yeah. Um, uh, some cool Quite stuff. Quite literally. Yes, some cool stuff here. I opened up this lock box. Well, so firstly, do you see this thing here that says we haven't logged it and we also haven't taken a photo of it? That is uh, that is oh, good vibes wow. to me. We're gonna get a camera later. We're gonna like put together a little gallery. And we're gonna get check check marks next to those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, look mark. at this. We got a Resident Evil inventory system for our backpack. I can grab this um, mechanics kit. I can grab this pry bar, and I can grab two snails. So that's great. Two, sorry, two snails? Snails, yeah. If you look on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see in our to-do list, I need to get two wine glasses, three snails, four sodas, and three screws. Mm, okay. Um, okay, now I need to equip the pry bar. I love a video game that is just business, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's why I like um, L Lemonade Tycoon. I like Lemonade Tycoon. Oh, I'm going to siphon fuel from this car while I'm here too, since it's a good habit to get into. You know, seeing... Uh... Starcat says Pacific Northwest has free snails everywhere, which is my understanding. Uh, what's the Rhode Island snail situation? We got snails. Yeah, we got snails near the coast. Lots of snails. You got snails maximum. Gotta feed the uh, got snails what? Maximum or snails normal? I think we're. I think that we're snails maximum. Whoa! Holy shit! I mean, you gotta feed the uh, seagulls with something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And seagulls do love snails. I'm gonna assign this to one of my quick slots because I know that I will be using my pry bar a lot. Okay. Let's pry this open. U USA snails heat map. <laughs> okay, what do we got in here? We got two wine glasses. Oh, this is about cone snails. I don't want to know about cone snails. And I got three. I in fact, robots. wish I never learned about cone snails. Why don't you like them? Do you know about cone snails? No. Library cat cone says cone snails, snails are deadly. Cone snails are these unassuming sea snails that live in the ocean. I love that the music is rising up threateningly as, as you start to describe cone snails. <laughs> and they are, uh, there's a tons of types of them that vary in how uh, exactly uh, poisonous they are, uh, but they will stab you and kill you. And there are many cone snail deaths a year. How oh. big are these cone snails? They're like an inch, two, three inches. They're tiny. Oh. What do they yeah, stab you with? They stab you with a proboscis. <laughs> no, Q. They stab you with a a, probis a proboscis. No, a proboscis. A proboscis. <laughs> whatever, whatever. You know what I mean. With their yeah. nose. How fucked up is it going to be when I Google cone snail and see what this looks like? I was, I was right. It's proboscis. Proboscis. P r o b o s c i s. Proboscis. Proboscis. Yeah. Proboscis. Not proboscis. I was way oh. closer. I don't like this guy. Uh, that looks weird. Searching in the dumpster. Oh, whoa. Oh, the. D whoa. The uh, dumpster is apparently friendly, and it has just spat out a load of stuff. Uh, yeah. What does it say in my logbook? It says, Friendly dumpster. If you're ever in dire need, pay this a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. What, what a nice I... friend. What Whoa. I... Yeah, I know. Okay, so I got a road flare. I got, yeah, just a road flare. And then I have the scrapper. Is that a gun? No, it is. Or like a chainsaw? A chainsaw. Look at this. Why did it have a little oh, heart wow. by it? Because you love it. Apparently, tear into anything and everything out there with this voracious homemade tool. Reduce items to raw materials in moments and walk away feeling mighty. Oh, it has such a great sound, that like little rattle. It's kind of like, oh. kind of a little puny. Okay. All right, Jack, let the Beyblade rip. Let's go. Here we go. Scrap the abandoned cars, wheels, panels, and doors. Great. Great. Got my scrap metal. Okay, I need soda now. 
The sound design is so fun. I don't know how to describe it, but um, uh, other than to say that this sound design feels very Team Fortress 2 to me. Sorry, the sound design is very Team Fortress 2? Yeah, the sound design on That's the, funny. like, blowing things up. Uh, so, uh, there seem to be about double the deaths from cone snails every year as there are from sharks every year. Whoa. Yeah. So it's like, it's, in, it's like around like the fuck 30, out of there. it's like around like 35 cone snail deaths and like around like 20, 15 to 20 shark deaths. So earlier in the chat, Sylvie claimed that you shouldn't be going in the ocean, and I have to disagree. Fully, I fully agree. Don't go in the ocean. No, My only fear. you should go in the ocean. Humans come from the water. It's a good place to be. We also come from... Yes, Keith? I don't know. I didn't have it. I thought I would finish it by the end. That's I, usually how yeah. I go. I usually don't know what I'm about to say until halfway through but sometimes you you know come up empty time to make a door this game's great i'm having such a good time just bopping around this little <laughs> you know uh okay crude door um uh ejween in the chat says sharks aren't even really interested in killing you they just want to uh bomb uh bomb balomp I think that you could also argue that that's true of the snails, though. Right, the right. The snails, I don't think, have a, have the capacity to be interested, let alone have a bloodthirst for humans. Mm. Where's my repair putty? It's in the locker. Here we go. Oh, whoa, look at all this. What's this? A spare tire. Whoa. Let's take that. Absolutely. Uh, we got uh, some science shit. We got a first aid kit, and we got repair putty. Okay, it won't fit in my backpack, so I'm holding it in my hands. But what I'm actually going to do here is I am going to put the spare tire in the back of the car. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know um, how to open my trunk storage. Can oh, you not same. do it because your hands are full? Maybe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the car tire... I'm going to... Oh, I love this little inventory thing. It's great. Yeah, Isn't it is good? good? Move yeah. that in there. This I'm going to just pick up. I just want to pick it up. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to put it... Oh, it's like I, I don't have the stuff. on, you know. Um. Oh, like you haven't built your trunk storage yet? Oh, shit. I just threw it into the car. <laughs> so okay. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I see. All right, all right. Well, so I, I see. I understand. Now you might be thinking, Jack, why why are you charging it to the max? You could just you could just gently put it in. No, no. Okay, right. I see. Okay, so a pretty straight trajectory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Maybe aim. Upward. Maybe aim a little yeah. higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get an arc on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kobe. Kobe. Oh. Maximum Invisible throwing wall. only. This is like your uh, no spins, no deaths run, Keith. Um, oh, yeah. Which means it's going to be successful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I don't know if it's going to let you do this. Trey, it's just, it's just, we don't need to. Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Okay, let's do this. Use the repair putty to repair the car. I love that it's repair putty. There's something so weird about, you know, it's like a weird mm -hmm. thing that you paint on the car to, uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, you really glob it on there. And it just does. Look at it. It reformed the shape of the door. It's some real, um... Gig Kephart shit, I feel like, going on yeah, in this game. And some goo. Uh, the whole thing, really. Just like, I'm going to build a car out of crap. Yeah. And also, the car is a ghost or something. Maybe. Where's your vlogging camera? Where's your selfie stick? Oh, I put <laughs> I put the headset on. Oh, that's true. Are you just wearing your Apple Vision right now? Oh, God. If Apple Vision was like a single... No, it still wouldn't be cool. I'm, I am such a Luddite. I, there's nothing that that thing could... 
could do that would make me go oh, I've, yeah, no, uh, that's cool. the last uh, the last five or so years have been interesting because at the same time I don't like what anyone is doing with VR and I don't like any of the associated VR things like metaverse which feels very tied to NFT and crypto mm -hmm. and I hate all that stuff but I've used the HTC Vive when those things were new because my uh, my cousin's friend uh, uh, has a couple from working at Unity and I put it on and I'm like, I get it. I see why this is cool. You know, I want to watch a movie on a big screen that isn't real. Um, <laughs> I want to have uh, like, a, I want to have like two monitors that to mess around on that don't actually exist. I want to see my living room. Uh, it, you couldn't even do that with those HTC Vives. It, it could, it could model what it thought your room looked like, but it couldn't do AR. Um, mm. And now those, even the, even the, even the cheap like Facebook thing is doing AR. Um, so I'm like, oh, I hate it, but I also really get the appeal. I totally, fully get it. Panther Grey says the Luddites were union workers who destroyed factory machines, so fuck yeah. Oh yeah, let me be as clear as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am with the Luddites. I'm not saying that yeah. pejoratively. No. Uh, fix the flat tire. Scan the flat tire. Okay, how do I scan? Okay. Oh yeah, that is oh. what it... Flat. You are wearing your Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> fix ceiling kit. <laughs> Repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit or replace the flat with a spare tire found in the locker. Now, if I replace it, I love that I can see the status of my, um, of all my tires. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have some interesting icons on them. That's really cool. Okay, I'm going to use craft a ceiling kit because I want to be able to um, keep that spare. Sure. Okay. Cool. Uh, Let's see, how do I do this? I go to my blueprints and I want to make a ceiling kit. Say goodbye to holes and leaks by furiously, even frantically patching them with this hastily assembled collection of materials. Then ask yourself why you were talking to a hole, which is in fact the absence of something. Pin that to my checklist. I need to get... Ooh, rubber duckies. I know. Oops. And the thing is, I have everything for this already, right? I have two out of two duct tape. I have six out of three rubber and I have four out of one glass shard. So I don't know why it's saying that I can't. Let's see if I can build it here at the workbench. Yeah, ceiling kit. Great. Oh, uh, whoa, is it a little gun? Oh yeah, it sure is. So I guess this icon here that looks like a little, uh, like a little reticle with an exclamation point in, is uh, oh, that Jack, means it's that's flat. That's actually a thing. That's a thing. That's, oh, uh, that means flat tire. Yeah, a lot of cars have a what they call like a TPM sensor. It's a tire pressure something. I don't know what the M stands for. Uh, and that's a little icon that shows up on your dashboard when your tire pressure is fucked up. Huh. Time to seal it. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how it goes, right? Real Paradox says, uh, important to note that the Luddites weren't union workers, but skilled workers upset that the mechanization was de-skilling their industry. They're right to oppose the change, but wrong to focus on the mere use of the technology rather than the abuse of the working class. Uh, it's true. They were a union of workers, but they were not a union. Um, and then, of uh, yeah, the other thing is like destroying the technology instead of like taking ownership of the means of production. Yes. <coughs> uh, like once you learn how to build a factory, the cat's out of the bag. Though we have the factory, um, you can't destroy every factory. So you might as well not let someone exploit your work. I get it. Loose wheel. Uh, and I fixed this with the mechanics kit. Is this gonna be a weird gross uh, zone thing or? Nope, that's normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought we might have been entering the gross zone. Enter zone the gross preparation. zone. 
outfit the car, install cardboard boxes in the trunk. I love this little this diagnostics thing. This is work we're doing. We've been doing this for like 25 minutes. Yeah. Oh, and this is this is not even the, the, the I mean, this is half the game. Uh, install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Critical to install your cardboard boxes in the trunk. Sure. I mean, how else are you going to put the tire in there? How else are you going to put the tire in there? Lovely. <laughs> install the craft mat in the trunk. Pop that in here. Oh, brilliant. Right. Oh, there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Okay. Is that this? That sure seems like what I would call an arc device. Oh, no. This is the arc oh. device. Sure. I'll put it in your passenger seat. This is my passenger. The way the UI has been set up, I can like carry things with both hands and open and close the doors of the car. Really, really neat. Um, okay. Oh my Whoa. God! Whoa! Hey, Whoa! You have a mini map. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. Nothing more it's like a maxi map. And the only way back to safety. <laughs> mini max. Heck, you should consider it the father, son, and holy spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you. I love that it's got like it a little floating ball in a in a thing there. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, download crafting blueprints. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. Oh, gear, as in like a car gear, probably. Oh. Yeah, probably. Ooh. Scanned. Scanned. Got so it. So scanned. Pick up the impact hammer blueprint. Oh. I still have camera control here, which is so funny. Yeah. Use the pump to fill the fuel tank. Oh, shit. They just got fuel here? Great. Wow. Wow. Are they going to charge you? No, Keith. It's the utopian post-apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Got half a tank. We might as well fill it all the way up. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. Since we're here. If it's free. Yeah. Hey, and can you fill up your little tank oh, that you have question. in your trunk? Oh, yeah. Let's see. That might be full, actually. It's full. It's full. Okay. But I think I can, yeah. Okay. Align the car with the charging station in the parking bay. Throw the switch to charge the battery. I'm going to close this. Looks like it's... Yeah, it says that you're aligned, so... If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Wireless charging. Whoa. Very Tesla. <laughs> Manual, planning a drive. Okay. What? Uh, I don't know. I, I suppose I don't know what my car's battery is for. Lights, I suppose. <laughs> That's what it's for. A lot of things, yeah. Uh, Starcat says, got everything you need here. Call it the auto zone. Um, I'm going to go and look at this projection. Route planner. I scanned it. So nice. that's good. Hell yeah. This so this is all... Within Ooh. these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What Same. that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now, and that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay. Cool. We still have not learned anything about, like, why these people are here, right? No. Uh, they were here when they closed it off. They just lived here when they mm. were unveiling the new technology. The two men seem to call themselves researchers. They they spoke to, the, uh, to Oppie with, like, some authority. Yeah, uh, but whether that's real or not, I don't know. Yeah, it seemed like maybe they are part of some—they're part of some um, provisional government. 
God, look at this. Root analysis. Atmospheric shift, anomaly density, radiation density, zone storm. Look at the hazard types. Physical, radiated, acidic, electrical, piercing, explosion, and strange. Okay. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. God. The structure is really cool. Um... Uh, our pack shield and amber says, I don't think they're alive. Ah, demon world theory. <laughs> <laughs> demon world, look, don't, don't get me started. Life and death. Demon world oh, theory no. is not. Oh, no. You're not dead Broke in Jack. demon world. Humans have no connection with demon world other than the one connection they have with demon world. So you're saying demons are alive. Demons are not alive or dead. They're a different. They're a different thing. It's a third state. They're like yeah. the plasma of life. Hey, now you're starting to get it. The demon world is a sort of. It's a realm of plasma. physics. It's an existential plasma. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, let's go. They don't know about demon world theory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take this spare tire and I am just going to put it here. You know. Like, okay, there will do. Let's can you not? Can you really storage? not take a spare tire with you? I wonder if I can put it in the storage. Oh, I yeah, might be able to. Yeah, yeah. I thought I might need like a, a, a um, like a like a like a like a tire mount. You know? Sure, sure. But no, I'll take a spare tire. Look at that delicious, delicious donut. Why can't I? Ah, mm. oh, there we go. Cool. No. Not my eleven screws. Well, the 11 I mean, screws stay in the pack, not the trunk. <laughs> Don't you want to store them in there? Can you not craft, like, from the car with your car storage? I can, Dre, but what if I need the screws now? <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, isn't it the worst on a road trip when you think you put something in your backpack so that you can get it, but you act actually put it in the duffel bag and it's, like, in uh, the back of the trunk? And it's like, I, ah, I wanted that for the drive. Yeah, I moved cross-country this summer, and I did that. Actually... What? What happened was... <laughs> yes, you... <laughs> what? what are you talking about? <laughs> Inventing a new type of guy. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Stop lying about stupid things. <laughs> Move across country. Um, yeah. You've always been in Michigan. I've always mm -hmm. been in Michigan. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, eventually I just sort of said to myself, if it, it was just meant to be that it's there in the tree, in the trunk, you know? If it's there, I'm not going to get it on this whole road trip. It just lives there. Um, Chad is wondering about Demon World Theory. You'll hear about Demon World Theory eventually yeah, on the, Media it's Club Plus. It's no, released. No, no, no. No, it's not, right? No, it's not. We talked about it on multiple episodes. I believe that the most recent episode has your first reference to Demon World Theory. Mm -mm. It's a very slim reference. The full cosmology has not yet developed. Right. We yeah. talk a lot... Since Demon World Theory has come up, it's come up in every episode. But I believe that the first episode that it comes up in is episode 13. Which is out as of last Tuesday. Your vehicle's status can be tracked by watching the gauges on the dashboard, as well as the lights and other devices installed around the cab. The center console displays the health and status of each car component. The radiation monitor lets you know how safe it is to get out of the car, and if it's anything but a flat line, exit with caution. In the passenger seat, there's a screen with a map where you can see your location and key points of interest. As you drive, keep an eye on the car's structural integrity, its fuel and its battery levels, and the various warning lights. An orange light signals a developing problem. Red calls for Keith, I'm getting, I'm getting tin can flashbacks. Red calls for immediate action. Brake, parking brake, fuel, low fuel, limb, low battery, health, low structural integrity, storm, storm approaching, etc. The what? good news is that this is a game that was made for you to play and have fun. So there's no way that you would have something like a red alert while the line isn't flat. Yeah, of course not. They sure. would never deliberately put you in that situation. Definitely not. Oh, that's where I can get abilities. Your car has abilities? Maybe I have abilities. I'm not sure. They know about ABXY in the Olympia zone? <laughs> they sure do. Yeah. Uh, that that's... was the forbidden technology they released in 1944. <laughs> yeah, they invented was that, the Dreamcast controller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why everything went to hell. It was a it was a time paradox. They should not have had Dreamcast technology in 1948. Oh, I forgot that I need to turn my car on. I'm 
I'm in. Drive. Oh, we're off. I'm lost. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I'm on the road. It feels great. Oh, wow. You can get up there in speed. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. No, no, no. I think that's good, Dre. Oh, okay, okay. I think, whew. I think we need to do that. Um, Okay, this is where I want to go. It's going to take me three hours. My fuel is max. My health is max. My battery is max. My front left tire is okay. Uh, My front right tire is okay. My right left... My... <laughs> My rear left uh -huh. tire is okay. My rear right tire is okay. My... What do you think the thing that says are okay there? On the, on the right, next to lights, which are broken because I don't have any headlights, I don't think. Maybe I have one? Sorry, uh, someone is talking about having owned two haunted cars in the chat I so what are we I've trying to figure out ever owned a haunted car oh i'm curious about what um the uh do you see in the bottom right it says l that's my oh, that's probably your headlight oh it's my my right? right headlight is there my left headlight is missing yeah nice yeah. it's kind of sinister that if i mouse over this trade you see all the things that say not recognized uh-huh yeah, that's probably fine <laughs> it's probably you just haven't been there yet so how are you supposed to recognize them yeah 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 all right we're going this way. We're going this way. Swill so W3 says, you all haven't got out of the tutorial. There's stuff to do. Yeah. You had to do work. Hello. Hi, Keith. We've arrived. Oh, that's great. Radio station. Residential damp forest outer zone. Manual. Your car is your shield. Conditions perpetual okay, stability. Newbie. Oh, my God. Keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma. plasma. Look for a research trailer or a spot tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. I wonder what the population is. Uh, four so far. Five if the you count the oh. picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and oh, look at this. That's great. You're, it says you're stable, but that line's going pretty nuts, though. What line? Oh, it's not it's fine now. It was just bouncing all around. Your little line above your speedometer. Is it? Or no, uh, above your fuel. Is it too loud? Is the game too loud? The wind is louder than anything else has been. <laughs> <laughs> I've turned it down just a little bit. Um. All right. Well, time to get out. Time to get out. Oh, wait, I have to turn my car off. <laughs> yeah, you got to save that fuel. This is uh, this is making me want to play more Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, talk oh. about a game I would like to play in AI. God. That would seem or not in AI, in, in uh, VR. VR. Yeah. This uh, this is extremely atmospheric. Yeah. OK, uh, find and scan a plasma generator. I have to imagine it's this. That's a mailbox. The mailbox? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, plasma but generator. Like plasma generator like in clear view behind a mailbox. <laughs> An impact hammer will do the trick. Plasma generator. Private field notes. Dr. A.F. Kingy. Date unknown. As we continue to explore viable energy solutions in the increasingly unstable environment that is the zone, we've begun testing the first handheld plasma containment devices. In a zone plagued with radiation, instability, electromagnetic interference, and many as yet unexplained phenomena, any infrastructure created for energy transmission has proven to be all but useless. Hence our investigations into the potential of charged and even magnetized plasma, studying both the conducive and capacitive qualities of the samples we have contained. Plasma would likely be far more efficient than the diesel and gasoline we've been forced to haul from place to place, and if the latest research from the Limtech team is to be believed, we may soon have a way to make it just as portable. At present, we await updates from Dr. Essid as she finalizes her report on Berkeland's currents. Our demanagement are keen for us to test this technology in the field as soon as possible, but we don't believe it is simply yet ready. They are, as ever, simply trying to rush research and save money. 
time, old gal. Didn't think we'd, uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What, what did you find a Sasquatch? To death? Hello to you too, Oppy. And no, I'm still here. <laughs> okay, I need gears and gas cil cylinders. No one's oh, coming God. back ever again. God. They've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your house. Oh. They say the zone was decommissioned in 87, but at the beginning they said that the zone was closed in 55. I right? wonder if it was closed to the public, but the scientists were still working, you know, working away mm, at it. Sure. Which would explain why they have, like, computer shit. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that they had, like, independently created computers. Oh, just, like, on their own? Yeah. Would have been great, yeah. but no. Uh, I'm gonna take these. Whoops, I didn't mean to equip that. I'm just holding an 8-volt battery. <laughs> oh, quick, put it on your tongue. Make sure it still works. Quick, gotta check. Yeah. Uh, Do you have a switch cartridge? Lick it. See if it still tastes weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, okay, so now I can... Do you have a flashlight or anything? I don't, at least right now. God, it is bad out here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to my craft mat. I'm going to make an impact hammer. Do I know how to make a flashlight? No. No. Me neither. Oh, so this is nice. I up, like, road flares. I wonder if... I did pick up road flares, yeah. Uh, I can, like stack crafting because I'm missing two gears right now but I have the materials to make gears so it's just letting Ooh. me craft gears in this menu that's really nice okay I have an impact hammer now not really I want to know about the remnants. I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. Why is the car a, a remnant? And why is it weird that the car is a remnant and not something else? Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with oh, it's Christine. It takes over mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it no one has ever been able to resist its siren call that fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak this is the first time we've ever got our hands on one but we know all about the past remnants and oh gosh this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle and the tea that came out of that thing it was and now i'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Great. Right. Got him. I mean, that seemed kind of important. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to know that, lady. Yeah. Like, if it's going to be in the game, I see Jack's argument about not having it in the game at all. But if you're going to have <laughs> it in the game, <laughs> yeah. like, it seems odd to cut cut it, cut him off before he tells us. Oh, what's that t-shirt? The dangerous Fabric. thing that the T was doing to people. Oh, oh, um, the rain stopped. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, how nice. Okay, so I got my plasma here. Oh, and some glass oh, and shards. Glass shards. By, that's a that's a classic byproduct of, pl mm -hmm. of getting plasma. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We well, gotta break it. Yeah. I do. I have a flashlight. I don't think so. I don't think I do. I, th I my suspicion is that I would have to build one. Yeah, or have it like equipped in your hand or something. Yeah. Find one. I could find one. Yeah. Oh, this someone good. might just give you a flashlight, and the, then the thing you'll have to build is like batteries for it. Yeah, flares for now. Yeah, and flares mm -hmm. are very cool. 
Extremely cool. Also fire, so kind of scary. Yeah, Which yeah, is yeah. what makes it cool. Well, yeah. Oh, it's locked. I wonder if Take I can it. pry bar it open. Yeah. Okay, and I have seven of nice. these, so I think that I can... This one's just a treat for Jack. Nope. How do I do this? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Great. This one's a treat now for Jack. Now this one, this one's just a treat for Jack. What do we got in here? We got soda. Cool. Oh, I love it in a video game where you just poke around and get stuff. Yeah, that's good. A treat for Jack. That's a treat for Jack. Let me just uh, pick this up real quick. What do we got in here? Nothing. 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 There's no oh. treats for Jack in there at all. No, no. no. Big pile of nothing. Hazmat cabinet. Oh, a drink. Oh, I love chemicals. I love chemicals. Oh, and we got one of these. Oh. Snails, a stethoscope, a rubber duck, a battery. Great. Oh, and we got some jam. I can't reach the jam. Oh, there's a toolbox. Great. I appreciate that they like will auto stack things for you. Yeah, me too. Oh, we don't need that anymore. Where's my cargo? <laughs> Here it is. Don't worry, you're inseparable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually going to uh, walk to this location up here. Oh, I love that we can't actually see the zone map unless we are in the car. That's really, really cool. Oh. Uh, why are you choosing to walk? Ah, uh, cause, uh, cause this is where the path ends. I, th whoa, what is that? All right, I'm gonna go get the car. <laughs> 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 I I figured that the um, the, the you know the we're gonna be going down here like the so this is mm -hmm. kind of like a bit like FTL in that like it's not a true open world. You're sort of moving through these procedural, individual open worlds if that makes sense. Um. Mm -hmm. And I have to imagine it's tied to the road, but so I was like, oh, I'll just I'll just wander over there. But yeah, there is something over there. I think it's probably the edge of the map, is my guess. This is a sodium vapor light, and we can use a hand vac on it somehow. I don't know why. Huh. Oh, is there is there anything you can also like fuck up with your weird saw thing? Oh, I could cut the cars up and stuff, but I think right now I don't need to do that. Oh, oh! I put it oh. into park. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, Dre. It's it's having having actual people who can drive cars here on the call with me is very valuable. Ow, Dre, do you consider yourself a good driver? Yeah, I mean, I'm not like a fucking like competition race car driver, but I, sure. I would say I'm a good driver. I think I'm a good driver too. Good. I wonder if there's people out there who think that they're bad driver. Like I know that there's, you know, you're always gonna find an anxious person who's like. Ah, uh, I'm a piece of shit driver or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I feel like most people have to think that they're good drivers, even when they're not. Yeah, or maybe especially when they're not. Something over here is making a sound in the in the deep distance. Okay. You, is it like a boop, 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 like that? No, it was like a oh. Yeah, it was like a weird foghorn kind of. Okay, this has got to be the edge of the map. Yeah. What happens if I touch it? You think death? Uh, maybe oh, go out. Existing stabilized yeah. area. Yeah. We'll get reconfigured. Yeah, we'll turn into a cup holder with the car. Did the car just make a weird sound? It did seem like it was settling. Okay, that's a radiation hazard in there. Good to know. What do we got in here? Is the game a little dark? Is it just getting to be nighttime? It is. Like in shadow it's like shadowy buildings yeah yeah um i'm just sort of blundering around the buildings in the whoa holy whoa, shit that's a lot of stuff canned food now jack this is this is why you put things in your trunk yeah i'm going to going to put stuff in the trunk sort of after this i'm gonna i'm gonna take this back and feed the car mm. you know Sure. The car loves to be fed. The car loves to be fed. 
Do you think this car has a name? You hear that? Yeah, I do. I think that was maybe just like ambience. Uh, yeah, what's his fucking name? Uh, the Batman uh, composer. What's his name? We just were talking about him recently. Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. There was Hans Zimmer was off in the distance making a sound effect. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he hangs out there sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, he hangs out. What is it? It's uh, Olympia. What? Olympia. Olympia the, the Olympia, Olympia exclusion zone. zone? The, yeah, the oh. Olympia. Is that Olympia or Olympic? Oh, Ol Olympic. I think Olympic, it's probably okay. Olympic. I know Olympia is like a city in Washington. But... Oh, a steel sheet. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, what do you need to make a bumper for your car? Because I noticed you don't have a back bumper still. I don't have a back bumper. Are those things important? <laughs> I'd like a front light, actually. How do I make a headlight? Let's find out. You need some xenon gas. Hmm. Crude headlights. Oh, I can just make one of those. Great. Oh, yeah, you certainly can. Okay. Pop that in here. Look at that. Beautiful. My two wonderful headlights. Like peas in a pot. Like Peas in a pot. God, I love that you can see the, the bits of my car that are clearly missing. <laughs> uh, okay. Start the engine. Put it in gear. Start. I said start the engine. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Wait, do I have a door open? Oh, I don't have a... I don't have a, a back um, uh, trunk. You don't trunk have a door? Yeah. You, you don't have a door for your headlight? boot. I don't have a door for my boot. Oh, I should fire up that headlight. You're right, Dre. Oh my God, look at that. Wow. Beautiful. This is gonna make this all a lot easier. As I just drive off the road because I was looking at the map. Ooh, what's that? What is that? Oh, what is that? Should go make friends. What is fuzz shit? that? That's a junk. Uh, it's a junk bot. Do we like it? Do we get out of the car? Hmm. Maybe. It seemed okay. I'm gonna go see if I can get abducted by it's it. It's safe something. according to your line. Yeah, it didn't try to eat your car. Hello. Oh, there it goes. Hello. It's got a Lego on it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. That seems bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, it wasn't good. I it's just not get good. abducted? I think you got slightly abducted. And then it, like, ate your head? Is it like a shark where they don't really eat people, but they don't really know that they don't eat people, so they bite you and then spit you out? <laughs> That might have been what it is. God, if this thing just eats my car, if I just see this thing. <laughs> okay, all right. Look, buddy. We got to get out of here. That was odd, right? Here yeah. in your car. Here yeah, in my car. <laughs> <laughs> it wants to eat my car. Oh, Garrelith Model has asked if we could scan it. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's go back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Let's doesn't get close to it again? <laughs> well, you hang on. Oh, whoa, whoa, getting... whoa! Does it well, shoot your car? Just... Is it bad to be zapped like that? I don't think it's good. Look, it's fucking up my car. Oh, no, it yeah, is it's definitely up bad. Your car. Yeah, you should reverse. You should reverse. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're in Stalker now, lads. <laughs> don't drive near. The big fucking Tesla arcs. Uh, okay. It does say danger. Maybe the car likes it, says Library Cats. <laughs> I think we left space for that possibility and, and decided no. Spark Tower. It boosts signals in the zone. 
The price we have to pay is constant maintenance and repair. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to sort of creep up to it, I think. Sure. Yeah, get your scrapper out. For your hammer? Is that what you use for this? The hammer, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stealth. They'll, they'll never see you coming. Electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, great. it worked. That's great. Great. I'm going to... Let's see. There's another one, right? Yeah, there's one over there. I'm going to go get that one, and then I'm going to get back in my car and kind of just blitz through this area. Okay. Ooh. God, look at that. Don't electrocute mm -hmm. me. Wow, it listened. It did. It's very yeah. friendly. Play it fast and loose, not sneak in that time. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. You should charge up your hammer on approach. Oh, that's Ooh, a good idea, so I can just dash in. Recharge. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to Prime picking for antenna parts. Prime picking. I'm gonna go scan the alien. Do it. Abduct, sir. Well, there you go. Letter fragment, date unknown. Dear Maggie, once again, I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured it would be good to put pen to paper. I hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly, but me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened, top secret things and all, but we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes, hanging 50 feet above the ground and right on a ridge. I'll send this, and as soon as we get back to barracks and write you a much better letter after. But in the meantime, here's a picture. I sketched it out while we were waiting. If there's one thing we have up here, it's the heck of a view. Love always, Joe. I Thanks, like that Joe. little guy. Yeah, even though he picked you up and ate you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he is kind of fun. He's kind of oh. like a fun guy. We got a... Oh, we got a, we got a new podcast to listen to? We got a new podcast to listen to. I will not be listening to it right now. <laughs> okay. We got stuff to attend to. Like, for example... What if it's important? What if it's, like, structurally important? It won't be, because um, Oppie said that, you know... She did. This is charged. I cannot fix that. What's wrong with this? Oh, I wonder it's if it cracked. I wonder if being charged, the engine is charged. Is that and is that good? No, I think oh. it means that the oh, like I the hood know. actually has an electric charge. The, the in hood, it? yeah. Let's see. No, it's just the hood. <laughs> okay, the hood is charged. I then mean, maybe it's not a problem. Yeah, I think it's probably fine, right? Yeah. I bet at some point we're going to get mechanics where you got to solve a puzzle by charging your hood and yeah. discharging it into something. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm looking for an antenna tower up on a hill. Aren't we all? Aren't we yeah. all? I will be right back really quick. Okay. Sure. Oh, look, there's another. Oh, that might be the same one. Oh, some dinosaur is screeching. Whoa. Floating rocks. I think there might be something behind you. I don't think so. I thought that there was for a second, but I don't think that there is. What is this? Is this an anomaly? Pothole. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. And this has two little markers. It has like a plus five percent something. What happens if I touch it? Oh, what happens if I? Oh, violins. Yeah, vi Did you hear the violins when you touch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The soundtrack knows that it's science fiction. Yeah. That thing there, that's science fiction. If that's you touch science it, fiction, and we'll, we'll we'll give you a little. Uh... We'll give you a little violin scare. Oh. oh. 
That's interesting. Hey, that's interesting. I saw that too, Keith. Yeah. That's a weird little... You scanned these guys, right? What happened when you scanned them? Oh, these guys? It just yeah. gave me... It's 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 sort of... Oh, it's called an abductor. It is called an abductor, yeah. I missed that. Crunchy Girl says, This game rules. It's like 100 X-Files episodes happening at once. It is. <laughs> Look. I love the X-Files. That entire thing just popped out of the ground. Big shout out. Big shout out to the X-Files. Bollard. They very likely occur in response to ground vibration or local disturbances, and I think that's the end of it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's true. Huh. That thing's the thing over there making dinosaur noises. Oh, huh. Chibi Killstick says, It's funny to see how cavalier they are about touching anomalies. I wasn't brave enough to do that until a bit further in. I've played a lot of Stalker, which, uh, I don't know. I feel like I've been forged in the fire of getting obliterated by Stalker anomalies. And I'm like, ah, what'll it do? Let's give it a go. Right. What is it going to do? Throw you 100 feet? Yeah. Oh, look, someone already got that one. I love seeing that Bala to just... Yeah. Okay, this is locked. locked. I'm gonna... Pop. Not anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here we go. We got a radio. Oh, a backpack. Shirts. Jam. I can't pick up the jam. All the beakers. You know what this game kind of reminds me of? Hmm. It's re I, I know it's, you know, Pacific Northwest is the Pacific Northwest, but I'm really getting Psychonauts 2 still. <laughs> You're such a big Psychonauts 2 person. Oh um, my God, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it reminds it's me so of good. a game called The Long Dark. Um, oh, I know The Long Dark. Which is a game I like quite a lot, but uh, I sort of, and I can see, I, I can see its appeal. Uh, driving a weird car and encountering anomalies is much more exciting to me than what the long walk is doing. The snow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just not really a survival game person. You know, the, what this reminds me of is the only part of Apex Legends that I like, which is walking around a place and picking up the stuff. Walking around a place and picking up the stuff is very good fun. Oh, my... Yeah. My thing broke. Um, yeah, the, the there is like um, um. Have you played Psychonauts two? I've played about a third of Psychonauts two. Did you make it to the questionable area? Uh, that's just before where I stopped. Okay, so uh, hello. Uh, if you haven't, Hi. hello. Hi, Hi Sylvie. Sylvie. We're talking hey, about Sylvie. Psychonauts two. Yeah, I love that game. Oh. It's so good. Uh, if you if you play Psychonauts 2, you'll fi you'll find uh, in the last sort of half of the game a place called the Questionable Area, which is like um, it's sort of like a a big and defunct tourist trap. Uh, oh, that place rules! That's one of my favorite yeah. like hub areas in the game. So it's like the 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 geography is a lot like the geography in this game, but the whole thing is like Sasquatch and other kind of cryptids oh, whoa. and Three um, water. abductors just rocked up. Oh yeah, they did. You should get in your car maybe. Um, did you get to try out my fun tip yet, Jack? I have not met tourists, I believe. Okay, no worries. Uh, you'll, we, we'll cross that bridge when we we'll get to it. We'll cross that bridge oh, when we get to it. I missed That's it. That's interesting. Um, and so this game sort of reminds me of like, so the whole thing about the questionable area is that it's almost all a scam. It's almost all a tourist trap, but there are, there is really psychic particles that like make a couple things legitimately weird. Huh. Yeah. Um, like the waterfall that goes backwards. Everything else is pretty much smoke and mirrors and like, like thin smoke and shitty mirrors. Yes. Um, <laughs> Um, and it's played for laughs, but this sort of reminds me of like, what if the questionable area was real and not played for laughs? Yes. Um, I wish that I could, and I can kind of see why. I wish I could, can I check? Oh yeah, 
I can check my map just by walking up to, to my to the side of my car and being yeah. like, yeah, okay. So I've I've seen more of the, of the of this game than you've played, and the like in-game like UI stuff, like just the fact that it's all physical, like the car and everything, it's is great, like wonderful. Um, this building is mad radioactive. Uh, I have some health kits. I sort of want to see what radiation does to me, if I'm honest. Well, it's not good. <laughs> well, and me. Me before I enter the Chernobyl exclusion zone. I just kind of want to see what would happen. <laughs> like, let's just play with it a little. What's what's radiation gonna do? You know? Yeah. It's got rad in the name. Like, yeah, exactly. How to be fun? Or reduce my health very slowly. There we go. Uh, I think I have some flares in my car. You're already hurt, right? Yeah. I was a wee bit hurt. Here. Uh, from the abductor throw. Wait, all my flares are gone. I think I just used up all my flares. Can I make flares? No. Okay, I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way. And which way is that? I'm going to point the car at it and uh, turn on my headlights. The ultimate flashlight. That radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Eyes to the horizon. I'm having fun, lady. Yeah, Oppie, get out of here. Oppie? Oppie, that's her name. Don't get out of here. Radioactive, my car. Charging the car battery. Watch your battery meter carefully. Using headlights and special abilities from attachments will drain your reserves. However, even with an empty battery, your arc device will be able to jumpstart the car. There are also ways to recharge on the go. Check your crafting options. Where is my battery indicator? Oh, there it is. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Sylvie, do you know what these uh, these two numbers here are, 24 and 50? Um, I we uh, No, that's something uh, we haven't puzzled out yet. I've been playing this with my girlfriend. Is the she, top uh, one maybe battery? Yeah. Is that the battery? I think it's slowly? battery. I think that was what the guess was. I, my guess was early on was either elevation or battery, but I'm pretty sure it's battery, given that it's draining while you are still. Um, In the very few times that I have driven a car, I've driven a car on a ranch or on a farm and yeah. point the truck at a thing and turn the headlights on so you can see the work you're doing is primo use for a for a for a car's headlights yeah imo great for bocce too whoa great for bocce too <laughs> uh let's grab the hell out of this take that television the scrapper is so satisfying it's great um keith something that you won't have got, but I think, Sylvie, you might have done uh, from playing it with your girlfriend, is that, like, the haptics in this game are really, really good. Uh, oh, the, fun. like, controller has this, like, really r rubbly, rattly vibration when you use the scrapper. Um, that's very charming. That's not, like, the most common... Um, that's not the most common thing in the world to, like, even be notable. A lot of times games just have haptics and you don't yeah. think about it. Um, so it's when it's really when good, is... though, I feel like yeah. it's it really stands out. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I found a flare gun. Let's go. Let's go. Captain Brian, deploy flares. <laughs> um, okay. Open up the hazmat. And now I, I know what my health is like. 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 I I have a guess at what my health is like IRL for Jack to Keat. I have a very clear understanding of what my health is like in the game. My percentage is so much lower than this in real life. <laughs> You're lower than 48% silly? Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm in mid-20s lately. Oh, buddy. That's fine. That's low. Do you have a med kit? Uh, that's I'll, med I'll keep kit an eye territory. out. Yeah. If this is KOTOR, that's advanced med pack territory. Okay, let's see. Flare gun. Um, single use or multi use? What do we think? Also, I don't think I. I won't it answer. I know. So I, I think won't it's. A, it's. I think the gun is multi use, but each flare is single use. Oh yeah, you don't think it's gonna come with come with a flare? I need to go back and get it, cause my. Uh, do you know what your health is like? 
I do know what my health is like. My health is 97. My health, Jack to Keith's health? I don't know. I don't it's know. It's past 10 p.m. Do you know what your health is like? <laughs> okay, I got it. Uh, single use. Oh, no, no. No, you just threw that. <laughs> I did just throw it, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't count. You can't win a bet that way. Okay, multi-use. That's good to know. Why did you throw it again? Uh, because I'm holding down left bumper to aim. Uh, but it, it is not an aim. It doesn't have ADS, so left bumper is throw. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Wait, where's my pry bar? Did I fucking throw my pry bar? Oh, we already get abducted. I think I threw my pry bar. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Why 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 does the radiation house have so much growling in it? It's the abductors. Oh, it's them. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, this game's great. Okay. It was getting louder when you were going in the house, so I thought it was something in the house. Just on the house. Just on the house. Oh, these abductors are on the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a a ruined building up in the trees somewhere here, but I'd have to go through the abductors, and I don't want to do that. That's a pro that's a problem for someone else. Ow! Um, ow. Hey, ow. Hey, ow. Through the pothole. Do you need to get some gas? Do you want to fill up your top off your gas with your canister and siphon some? Where is my gas? Oh, I have plenty of gas. You have plenty of gas. Oh, this place looks cool as hell. Oh, I should turn off my headlights. Oh, look, it's a, a garage. I'm just gonna park up here. Wait, what? Oh, it's bollards, okay. Yep, stuff, just stuff coming out of the ground. Nothing to worry about. Just things, just things, it's fine. I forgot to turn my car off. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Hi, Dre. Hello. Okay. We've been joined with Sylvie. Sylvie. I know. I made it in time. Yeah. Welcome to Media Club Plus, a podcast about the media. Oh my God, that... wait, it is us. It's uh -huh. the crew. Oh my God, it's us. Keith, hit the button. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> um, on today's Media you know Club Plus, we're going to be rating the four Gon, Karapika, Leorio, and Killua. Um, um, I'm going to start. I'm going to make an argument go number one. Okay. That's fair. Do we agree? No, I think no. Sylvie is. Killua number Killua. one. Killua number Killua. one. Yeah, I'm I don't sorry. Agree, I'm just, this see... is one of my most firmly held beliefs. I see why you feel that way. Now. I think I it can is, respect I think, that. I feel like Killua number one is like almost the premise of the show. Yeah. <laughs> when I say every I'm time I watch one. it, I go, ah, Killua number one. <laughs> Killua number one. Uh, who is number four? Leorio, it's Leorio. Sadly. Yeah. It's sad that it's yeah. Leorio, but like I don't want to say it, but if mm -hmm. you're asking, it's Leorio. I almost really hot did a hot take and was like, I don't know, gun but no, four. it is. Huh? The hot take would be gun number four. That's yeah, which I can't take. say with a straight face. You can't say it. Yeah, it's like, Ooh, there's yeah. a part of me that wants to say it because oh. it's, oh, it's it can't be Karapika. I will say, gun number three. Mm. For me, personally. Killua, Karapika, gone. It's hard. It's it, it's an yeah, almost yeah. impossible question. At some point, you have to admit that it's a soup, and you can't take ingredients. Once it's no, a soup, oh, it's yeah, a soup. No. Yeah. you can't take ingredients out of a soup. It's true, unless it's a sort of a broth type thing, you know? Yeah. Oh. Well, you, you can strain the chicken out, but you're always going to taste it. Hmm. Hmm. Danger. Danger. Mm. Flare gun this lock. <laughs> oh, this is not dangerous. This is beautiful. 
Oh, there's all kinds of good stuff in here. Keep your eye on the road. I got a fridge. This is my house. This is your housekeep? Yeah, I'm listening to I'm listening to uh uh Steely Dan on Real to Real. In this in this house? Yeah. Oh, you're real oh. reeling in the years. Yeah. By the way, I'm assuming this is on streamer mode and you haven't been using the radio much because of it. Oh um, yeah. But the soundtrack in this game is very good. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to, because of the way this works and it's not super story heavy, when we're not streaming it, I'm going to start my own save. Hell yeah. I am going to have... Uh, uh, Keith, you're listening to... Um, <sighs> the Apocalypse. The, the Steely Dan song about the Apocalypse. Hello, one and all. Are you the one I used to know? Um, King of the World. Yes, sure, yeah. King of the World's good. All-time great song about the nuclear apocalypse. Anomaly safety. Don't drive into it. Don't kick it. No. Apply boot. Evade. God. Uh, uh, we were just having this conversation earlier about Countdown to Ecstasy. We were just having this conversation about Countdown to Ecstasy. Uh, yeah, and Dre, Dre just... <laughs> Dre, Dre put an end to it by Dre, being... Dre uh, put an end to it. <laughs> <laughs> by ver by uh by audibly rolling their eyes at <laughs> us talking with that's Steely Dan. Not, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very endearing. It's the cost of talking about Steely Dan. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, speaking of the cost, I have to pay the cost of being a human who works in the morning, and I need to go. Oh, thank Dre. you for, for letting me hang along. I doubt we're gonna go much longer. I'm gonna sort of complete this zone. The zones don't save. Um, yeah. But people say that Instagram dance is right before people tend to stop their first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instagram dance? Oh. Yeah. Uh, hey, sorry, I thought dance. you were still talking about Steely Dan. No. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> Good night, Dre. Good night, Dre. Good night. Thank you for coming. Uh, you should listen to Dre on Media Club Plus. Yeah, once yeah. again, podcast, really good. we've been separated from yeah. our Media Club Plus crew again. <laughs> Oh no, we're back at Heaven's Arena. Oh, dire. We're back at Crusader Kings 3. What did I say? Heaven's Arena. Same thing. Yeah, same <laughs> thing. Uh, what is Europe but a bunch of floors you're you're traveling up? You keep throwing it. You can, <laughs> can you pick up the flare after you shoot it? Yeah. Whoa! What is oh, this? That's cool. Oh, you hey, got a transmuter. Last thing in there. Where'd my flare go? Oh, here it is. This thing just uh, I love that flares. when the flares are lit, you can see the um, like stamina on them draining when yeah, they're just like lit on the ground. So it's like a good little touch there. Lots of really, really neat stuff. Okay. Uh, Cavalot Rest says, oh man, I want another Crusader Kings 3 stream. You're going to get one. Uh, we don't have one on the schedule yet, uh, but, but um, Keith and I are basically always planning for another Crusader Kings stream. Yeah, I mean, when it came, so we did that stream right after it came up on a different stream, and I was like, oh, we should do Crusader Kings. And I think I just said, we should do two Crusader Kings, like, in a row. Back to back, because, yeah. Because our shortest time in, our average time in between Crusader Kings streams is, like, three and a half months, which is too long. Yeah. I agree. You, should, it's not, you don't want it to be quarterly, you know? Right. No, yeah. no. Not quarterly kings. Yeah. yeah. I want dime kings. Yeah. Uh, okay, what is Maybe this? Maybe even a nickel. Do? It turns That's glass shards really ambitious. into electronics. Interesting. Is it one for one? Whoa. Oh, shit. You know the other game this is in conversation with? Is Prey. Uh, the oh, arcane, sure. The yeah, game. Prey. I never played that. It's good. It's good. I've heard. It's... Oh, sorry. The Arcane Prey. I yeah, was yeah, thinking yeah. of the original Prey. Uh, I've played I'll both of them, and they are both enjoyable. Um, I have only played the fur the original Prey. I don't think I would like the Arcane Prey. Oh yeah, do you not like MS Sims very much? Um. You know, what I would say, unfortunately, is that I just don't like arcane games that much. Oh, um, yeah. I really, I really like the um, all of the tertiary elements, all of the all of the uh, immersive simi bits of uh, 
like Dishonored. I really like Dishonored. Mm -hmm. um, and Dishonored 2. Dishonored uh, 2 is I, great until those stupid blood flies show up and ruin the game. Um, I don't even know that I got that far. You know the level that everyone loves um, with the oh, uh, crack and thing? Slap. I just hated that episode, that, that level, and I quit mm. in the middle of it. Um, uh, okay, sorry. To be fair, what happened was I lost my save. Oh, that was do not, it. Oh, yeah. I was in that level not enjoying it when I lost my save. Um, but but the thing is that I really don't like the combat in anything that they've ever made. No. Uh, and yeah. their games keep getting more combat focused. That's a bummer for me because I love the stealth stuff, but I also don't ever want to swing a sword in them. Yeah. 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 Um, I love the, I love the, you know, uh, warping around and all that stuff. And the traversal stuff is really fun. But yeah, the combat I just think is really bad oh. yeah no it, it's probably their weakest uh like point as a dev, uh, yeah. dev team i think so like, making satisfying combat um prey is mostly is prey combat heavy or is it more of a puzzle thing it's i feel like prey is fairly combat, combat heavy yeah uh, okay i have it's I it's also remember. their most hoary horror game at least until redfall came out i don't know about isn't redfall just left for dead with no okay. that you're thinking back for blood I am thinking of Back for Blood. Redfall is a vampire game, though, right? Yeah, it is a vampire game. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's more horror-y than Prey, but it, it's got a shot at it. So I just thought it. Uh, Prey is more horror-y. Okay. Um. Yeah, I really like the plot of the Dishonored games, uh, mm -hmm. and I was really playing Dishonored two so that I could move on to playing um, Death of the Outsider. I've heard that. Heard the best one. Death of the Outsider is great. Yeah, so I just really, I couldn't, I, and again, it wasn't exactly the game that kept me. It was losing that save and then kind of being uh, disheartened by that and not, not really enjoying that yeah. one level that everyone said was so great. And so when everyone said that level was so great and then I was like, oh, I don't think this level's really that good. Uh, it didn't, it sort of uh, dampened um, my hope for Death of the Outsider, because I just right. think that I have different tastes than people who like Dishonored. Yeah. That's fair enough. I find, um, I don't like stealth games with morality mechanics in them, um, in general. Fair. And Death of the Outsider removes that mechanic. Yeah. Uh, and, and two severely dampens the originals. Um, yeah, but it's still very morality. much there. Oh shit. I find the the I feel like the um, morality stuff in Dishonored would be more interesting if they just kept it to the like big moments. Like, I think the, I like, agree. Yeah. The, like consequences for your target stuff, because I think that's that a really interesting. Really yeah. Yeah, that stuff hits really well. But then being like, no, you gotta you gotta make sure you incapacitate that cop non lethally, of, unless or you'll raise the chaos of whatever. Of the world, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. There'll be more rats if you do this. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I need to make a broadcast transmitter. Do I know how what is even goes into that? No, not yet. Okay, let's see. I'll say what I what I do like about that is, I do like something saying, you should try to play this game without killing someone. I do like I yeah. like when oh, it's incentivized. Yeah. I just don't necessarily. It's the method of incentive. It's the method, yeah. Not, it's the execution uh, of it. Um, no pun intended. Uh, oh, and you have the tone shit. of like you shouldn't kill any single one of these evil guards. Like, that, that's the thing too, because like the people, like the villains in Dishonored are so cartoonishly evil too. Right. Yeah. Um. I, it, feel, it feels a little at odds. I threw my pry bar <laughs> somewhere. Oh wait, is that not it in your hands? I made another one. Okay. Why did it What's do happening? that? Okay, my inventory is full, I think. I think that's Damn. what they're telling me. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. What is this? Broadcast transmitter. I have a I have a I technology question. The yeah. yeah. After all, wait, wait for Oppie. But you can't get back the way you came. 
the instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. A little sinister, but that's fine. I yeah. um, I love Oppie's voice actor, I will say. I yeah. think she does a very good job. Mm -hmm. um, really good performance. Make sure um, this. Of the three performances, the best one. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I, I am. Uh, but uh, I love some goofy car guys. I do love Tobias, if I'm being real. When I was watching you guys on the way home and you were clowning my dude, I was like, no, wait, dude's rock. He's great. <laughs> dude's rock. I want to um, see if I can It's get just it. like, just, you know. Uh, okay. You know, he, I'm going to. I'm sorry to do this, but it's no, really. It. It's a real Tom Hanks performance. You know. Keith, you just I'm like sorry, activated Sylvie. her. Yeah, her I know, you're fine. And it's just like, why do you have to put on a fucking goofy fucking sh piece of shit accent that you don't have? I do, I do think you're onto something there. Uh, yeah. He does sound like Ted from the movie Ted. Um, <laughs> like, oh no, he doesn't sound like a fucking. I don't know. Sound like he's from Boston or from Rhode Island or Is something. Is that not what they sound like? No. Uh, okay. Um, if he's trying to sound like he's from Boston, he's not doing a good job. Especially because these the we're in Oregon. Or yeah, Washington. that was the thing that that I that really uh, stood out to me when I remembered that this game was in like Washington and Oregon. Was wait, why is this guy from the Bronx here? <laughs> I'm um, sorry that you had to think about Tom Hanks, Sylvia. No, it's fine. I do that. I, you know, you got to keep your nemesis in mind so you can destroy yeah. them one day. <laughs> just, uh, just you know, if you want someone that sounds like that, just puts. And it's not, you know, this isn't like a moralistic thing. Uh, you I know, think it is for Sylvie. Nine I, times I, out hey, of I'm ten, fine. I'm not saying I, I, I'm no moral judgments here. Nine <laughs> times out of ten, you know, so, someone doing so. Well, maybe that's maybe not nine times out of ten. Four times out of ten, asking someone to do an accent that's not their accent is fun. Uh, but it, but it's a practical thing. Of it's also usually bad. Like it doesn't sound good usually. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, not everyone can be. Uh, who's someone that could do a good? Not everyone's fucking Mr. Doctor House over here. Mr. Doctor oh, House. Mr. Doctor House. Not I, everyone's it, Gillian Anderson and it Seth fucked Death. me up so bad when I found out that Mr. Doctor House was British. I know. I know. Yeah, me too. And then I became a massive fan of British Doctor House. There's a really good bit on the short-lived Armando Iannucci show. Um, oh, I can't even remember what it was called. It's about some space station. But him being able to do an ac American accent, but actually being British is like a plot point for his character in that. And it's very funny. Oh, wow. Huh. Um, it's about like a, a space cruise ship that ends up uh, going off course. And um, oh, yes, he's the captain, but he's actually just like an actor who's there to, to play the captain. It's very funny. That's really um, good. It's like I don't think the show is like anything like revolutionary or anything especially like comparing it to other Ianucci stuff like Death of Stalin or like Veep or whatever um but you know it was Veep like an really all right little watch I haven't seen Veep in years I don't know what happened to Veep uh over the course of its whole lifespan but yeah I watched those first like three or four seasons of Veep and oh my god everybody I think it is great it holds yeah. up um and also if you've only watched those seasons I feel like the Sam Richardson was barely in it in those, and he becomes like one of the best parts of that later on. Um, oh, Sam, Sam Richardson. Richardson is in Veep? Yes. Oh my Sam Richardson God. is a Keith. I had no idea. Yes. I love he Sam is, Richardson. He's amazing in it. Sam Richardson um, is phenomenal. He's oh, one of my favorite comedic talents like in the world right now. By the now. way, it's because it's on Apple, no one's heard of it, but if anyone hasn't seen The After Party. I was about the, to mention The After Party. I watched yeah, the, the premiere of it on a plane. Oh, good. Uh, you know, it's not the strongest show in the world, but it, but Sam Richardson is just so much fun to watch. 
Uh, and there's a lot of great performances and comedic actors in there. Yeah. The Joe Craig is really good. And it's just like a fun mystery show that's also hilarious. That's great. So, um, yeah. Oh, I got it. Hell yeah, you did. Oh, that made a sound, didn't it? It's fine. That's why I finally watched Severance. I was like, I, I sort of broke the seal on Apple shows mm -hmm. in the after party. That's a, that's a good show too. I was I actually very recently uh, rewatched Severance when I saw yeah, it, I, I uh, filming Ooh. the second season. It holds up. Yeah, yeah, totally. I watched that on the. If, do you guys remember when uh, when I was coming back from the West Coast and I got my plane got diverted to Pittsburgh for a night? Oh, so yeah, I do. <laughs> watched a lot of Severance that day. <laughs> yeah, I. I I skipped it because I'm so hit or miss on like the big dramas that people like that. Yeah, no fair. That they're not a priority for me, but I I knew that because of the people involved performance-wise, I would probably end up liking it. Uh like John Turturro and uh Adam Scott. Yeah, it's um, got a really stacked cast. Uh, I, I only half completed this thought earlier about like hating how drama successfully mines. I do remember. Uh, yeah. I, I, the I, end of that thought is that they do such a great job of taking Adam Scott and the thing that he's done before is like be the kind of hapless guy who's uncomfortable with authority, uh, with being in, uncomfortable with being in charge. Yeah. Um, and also uncomfortable with being responsible to someone else as well. And then and sort of like taking it out of a comedy and dropping him into the sci-fi show. And he's like doing the same acting that he's done before, but in a totally new context. What is this? What's going on here? This, Hang on. This, what, this is just, oh, you, you haven't been to the Pacific Northwest much, have you? This is like regular. Oh, this is the, oh, this is the beam. This is the favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, this is the PNW beam. Um, oh. It's beam season. It's like how there's a fire season. There's It's beam season. No. Should you? Uh, Jack, I can't tell if you're trying to avoid the beam or trying to go into the I beam. Oh, no, you need to go. Beam. You need to okay. approach the beam uh, with love in your heart. Sorry for, for podcasting over the beam. No, side. no, no. This is how we get out of the zone. We traveled three miles. Wow. wow. You're alive. I'm certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Um, Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they've been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. A so dare ass line. You have made it back with everything <laughs> you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your models intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie, but it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. Uh, you have to come out behind your mysterious wall in order to do that game that's trying desperately <laughs> not to have any human animation in it. Yeah. I think I threw my impact hammer away. Oh no! Is the throw button really that easy to hit by accident? I haven't actually played this bumper. myself. Oh, okay. What What happens is I keep trying to do ADS, uh, and that keeps throwing things. Oh, I oh, it's the left trigger, not the left bumper. Yeah, it's the left trigger. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Let's... So you hold the throw button. It doesn't do anything, and then you fire the gun, and then it works. And then I throw and then you the, yes. un, then you unhold everything, and then it throws. The yes, gun. that is what happens. Yes, very funny. Okay. Um, I was gonna. I can't remember what, what I was gonna say, but anyway, Severance good. Severance good. Um, I really like the actor who plays Dylan on it, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's uh, great. Yeah, he's like, I didn't really know, know him, like, at all coming into it, and he's, like, stole the show for me. I like all of them. I like. Oh, I really absolutely. Like the whole cast is great. Um, handbrake. 
It's also one of those shows that is. Um... Oh, uh, Clingy says you oh. broke your impact hammer and pry bar. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, it's just the okay. flag gun that I've been throwing around. That's a form. <laughs> a breaking stuff is a form of throwing. Zach Cherry is his name. Thank you, CTD uh, Regen, or is that CT Regen? Anyway, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, uh, show holds up on a rewatch because they're good about like foreshadowing shit. So you gotta feel smarter the second time you watch it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Assemble an antenna with the fabrication station in the back room. Yeah. Oh, whoa, we got a skill tree. Look at this. Th this skill tree is so much bigger than, like, look at all those little tr things you can hit the trigger to go through. Oh, the my God. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like, <laughs> we didn't notice this when we first started. We thought it was just the garage thing. It's like, wait, we've just been in garage. There's like 10 tabs here. Oh, wow. And this is going to sweep the zone to detect boxes of stability, that is to say, the levels. Um, there's a moment with uh, Dylan and Severance uh, with Zach Cherry that is like, to me, like the moment of that whole season that blows the thing wide open in such a phenomenal way. Yeah. And then they do a great job of like not talking about it for like 10 minutes or so oh it's so good it's the it's thing so that we're thinking good. about right he's the, the thing that it, his story the thing in the on. closet yeah yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking incredible it's unbelievable that moment and it, it throws the whole thing upside down you're watching it and if you're thinking about it you know for uh, you know if you're thinking about what's happening you're like this this upends the whole thing this uh, it breaks all the rules that have been laid out for you. It's so, so well good. done. Oh, it's so good. Uh, also, shout out to uh, Trammel Tillman who plays. Um, oh, Mr. Milchek. Mr. Milchek, who is like all-time great villain. So good, unbelievably good. Yeah. He, there's this there's this moment where he's um he's trying to get uh, uh, Adam Scott to um smile with his eyes. To, oh, can uh, you make your eyes look kind? Can you make your that eyes bit? look kind. And it's oh. so good. It's such a good conversation because it kind of highlights the thing that, that he has been doing the entire time, which is like really conveying the opposite emotion of the one that he's showing with his mouth. Yeah. The whole season, he is, you know, like giving you two like diametrically opposed emotions on his face, uh, mostly smiling when obviously he's like mad and annoyed. Um mm -hmm. Uh, but it goes both ways. And so to have that character be like, like, oh, this is something that he can do. And to have him talk about it so kind of like plainly, yeah. uh, the thing that's in his little villain bag of tricks is like really fascinating and cool. Um, okay, I'm gonna grab this. Oh, hands only and my hands are full. I know how to deal with this. Are your cardboard boxes in your car full too? Oh yeah, but I've just been keeping these like um, uh, you like just kind of keep the things littered stuff. around the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh no, like you've been hanging onto it. Yeah. Um. The roof. I wonder. I feel like there's more storage, but that might be like an upgrade thing down the road yeah. that I'm thinking of. Um. I love this way up to a roof for a game that doesn't have ladders. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Gotta make it work. With level design. That's level design. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Good that's effect. so cool. Yeah. That's so neat. Look at that. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Car maintenance. Install handbrake. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> yeah. It's weirdly more important in a manual than it is in an automatic. Because a manual... A uh, handbrake. Oh, sure. Where does this go? Oh, look at that. The, uh, look at that. That's so cool. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Yeah, where do you want me to put it? Oh, in the friendly... Okay, uh, Search the dumpster for something to help you unload your truck. Oh my god. 
Friendly Dumpster is my favorite character in this game. Friendly Dumpster is great. I love this little driver's checklist. Yeah. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. Oh, yeah, okay. I hooked uh, up the antenna it, to the router. There it is. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Okay, the transfer trunk. What does this do, Sylvie? This, I believe, is just the storage thing. Okay, I see. So what I can do uh, yeah. is I can put this here. And then you like, yeah, I think you just put, you you can like put your collectibles yeah, and like materials and stuff in there. I don't I know just... if it's like an inventory system where it's like you can, um, uh, like access it from without it in your inventory or not. Oh, but, right. Yeah. I think you I think you can when you're here, but like don't quote me on that. I've played I have watched two hours of this game uh, like further than uh, you guys have gotten. I, I wish I could like I wish I could do the thing that I was trying to do, right? Where I hold this and then I open this. Can you not? Let's see. Mm. Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Man, phew. Uh, that's the spare tire. I'm going to keep that. Um, okay. I'm going to put the transfer trunk down. That was weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to grab as many road flares as I can. Thank you to the friendly dumpster. A battery jump. Now then, can I make a battery jumper? Why a battery would need a sweater, I would never know, but... <laughs> You know, it gets cold out there. That's a yeah, that's a British joke I just did. Do the Canadians not call them jumpers? No. Oh. No, no one calls them jumpers. No, no one calls them jumpers. The British well, do. Well, no one but British people. Oh, yeah. sure. I bet Australians so no one do. Calls them. Maybe Australians. No, they'll they probably call it something silly. I mean, I got I got aunts and uncles who do, but you know, I still blame the English for that. With you know. As you should, yeah, they, After they took over Ireland, you know, they made all of us say jumpers and shit like that. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that was what the Troubles was about, actually, is we didn't want to say jumpers. I don't think that's true. No? I don't believe that's what the Troubles were about. Weird. Okay. My bad. I don't... I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Mm. Although, as an English person, I, you know... Sorry, you're saying that, that you don't think that they were when the British made the Irish say things like jumper. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I think yeah. it was, I think that it was, it's it was plural, the trouble, so it's wide ranging. Yeah, that was one I of the troubles. I think it's one right, of the right, troubles. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was a lesser, it was a lesser trouble. Cause it's pretty troubling. It is, it is pretty troubling. I'm out of um, repair putty. Oh, this game's fun. Yeah. yeah. You should be able to craft. I think you craft the jumper in there, unless you already did. Oh, I made the jumper, yeah. Okay. Uh, and now I'm just, I'm just, I'm gooing up the car. Someone in the chat, uh, hey, Lanini in the chat says, you know what else is an Aussie jumper? A bloody Roo, am I right? Like a kangaroo. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> pretty That's good. That's pretty good. What do you think this heart symbol means, Sylvie? Uh, wait, where? Um, on the crude panel. Oh. Um. It likes you. I actually don't know. No, I, I wonder. It's nice. It's just nice. Maybe it's saying that it's, it's, it can replace. It's something that you need. My guess would also be maybe it's like favorited oh, no. so you don't accidentally like destroy it. That but means like, it was a gift from the dumpster. Okay. Maybe. That's what Earthcube says Aww, in the, the chat. For loves. I'd believe that. Um, okay. Where's our next? Uh, where's our next objective? Uh, we need to we just are. like oh, complete the driver's checklist before heading out. I don't even know. Uh, okay. But what I'm going to do is complete the checklist and then probably call it for the night because it is. Yeah. Okay. It is a little yeah, late. Um, it's very funny that they they tell you like hey by the way this car it's like a psychic demon that has attached itself to your brain and you're going to become more and more obsessed with it and then Aubrey's just like yeah 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 just go here and keep working on your car forever it's, fine. <laughs> it's great <laughs> yeah yeah it's really good here's a really long driver's checklist don't worry about it don't even worry about it <laughs>
The car was working before you got there, but you do need to do this. <laughs> yes. I think that I'm missing a panel here. Yeah, I am. Oh, my car is looking beautiful. Uh, and then the final thing I think I need is a trunk. But I don't um, think I can do that. Panels, doors, and bumpers installed. I wonder if it's a door. I wonder if the car considers it a door, crude door. The the trunk? Yeah. 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 Put that on. Oh, Keith, you'll like this. Um, you can do damage to yourself by hitting yourself on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Not either. <laughs> it, it does one percent of your health. Isn't that good? That's funny. Uh, great. Okay, cool. It's funny because you can do. That does damage faster than radiation does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I know what being bonked on the head feels like, and I it's feel like radiation good. takes way lo longer for me to feel like that. Yeah. Uh, let's put this here. I love how when your when your stuff breaks, it just shatters into a million I know. pieces. It's, it's so really funny. good. I wonder why the trunk is useful. Other than that it's just or good for stuff. a car to have, you know? Um, I think it might, that having the door might play into like when you're the like protection level of your car. Oh, sure, of like how, um, how much is the car looking sure, Yeah, around. like how armored it is. Cause remember earlier when you were on the way to the beacon, the like car protection at like whatever percent or like damaged or whatever. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, what do you, what would the alternative to having a trunk be? Oh, sorry, a trunk door. Oh, a trunk door. Stuff will fall out of the trunk. Yeah. I think that the important thing is that it completes the car. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sort of spiritually, spiritually it's, necessary. It's such a perfect car, too. I'm so glad it's a station wagon yeah, and not know, like a truck really or fun. anything. An old school, like, yeah. wood, pan, wood side panel station wagon. It's really, really good. Yeah. The Remnant Experiment. Find your way to town. Oh. What does that mean? It means that we need to know where the town is. Oppie has a plan to verify if your car is a remnant. It involves an anomaly called Colossal Cappy, which sounds neither friendly nor fun, but still, you trust... Whoa! Uh, yeah, you're in it now. I um, knew this was Forza Horizon. <laughs> Holy shit. That's so Obviously cool. not doing it now, but I will say the Colossal Cappy shit. That's the last thing I saw. Really fun. So if um, I want to drive to this, Sylvie, do I have to go through E5 first? Oh, my God. What do I don't remember? I think you might. I and mean, that's fun. I, you know, I'd like that. Um, yeah, I, I think you do. I think what the way it works is you can go to E5, come back, and then you can go from E5 to the next spot. If I'm maybe again, I, I'm not like an expert on this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. Extremely cool. Okay. Yeah. This has been Pacific Drive. Um, I would love to... Whoa, what is that over there? <laughs> it's just a tank. Uh... Oh, it's not a tank. What is that? Generator? Can I pull this lever? No. Um, okay. Uh, I would love to play more of this. Um, I will definitely play more of it on my own time. Thank you to you both for for yeah. stopping by. Thank you to and shout Keith out to Dre for. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I meant Dre. I said shout out. Yeah, to no Keith. worries. My brain. I can get shout out twice, and I per shout actually prefer it. Yeah. Shout out to Keith again. Thank you. Shout me out in general, and then shout me out specifically. In specific, yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, okay. thank you, Dre. What's going on? Uh. On Friends of the Table. Uh, second episode of Slow Knife just dropped. Oh, hell yeah. Check oh, out nice. Friends of the Table cash for that. Meet our terrible conspirators. Um, I should a very fun time. Yeah. They're yeah. great. They're great characters. They're just terrible at conspiracy. At yeah, conspiracy. no. They're, <laughs> they're not great at people. They're not right. great at being they're people. They're bad people. They're but, bad conspirators. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, it's so good much characters. Fun. Yeah, um, you know, Media Club. Always, always check out Media Club Plus. Um, always, always check out Media Club Plus. Uh, it, it was uh, it was great. In the last episode that went out, I I 
specifically called on the shoe draggers for uh for apple podcast reviews and that worked out really well oh has that <laughs> I, really you got, i've learned yet yeah, we got like way more reviews per month in that those two the last week and a half than usual um uh uh so eventually i'll have to i'll have to call out the the, the second round of shoe draggers i know how many thousands of people haven't re reviewed that have listened that listen yeah um, get them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like six and a half oh. um get at uh, least uh but uh let's see anything else specific we got a ton of stuff up on the youtube that if you missed it on twitch here you can go watch jack and art play Bellatro. Oh, that that those streams are so fun. I still don't quite understand that game, but watching you two play it oh, is a good, good game one to not understand. Yeah, no, mm, fantastic. Um, you can watch um, uh, Janine and Allie play Fay Farm. Oh um, yeah, with uh, Thisbe. With Thisbe, yeah, you can go see Thisbe in real life. Um, and you can you watch. Uh, hey, have you have you seen the Lethal Company stream from two months ago? I'm just seeing it here on the page. That's why I'm saying it. Uh, that's still really good. Um, oh, that stream was so much fun. That stream was so much fun. Watching it, watching the cams combined in the like multi stream edited down into like, uh, you know, all the different. You perspectives. crushed it with that. I, I think it came out so good. Yeah, great uh, job. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you. It was a lot of work. It was totally worth it to do because it ended up being so much fun. Um, but yeah, go watch that if you haven't, wow. and go watch some Run Button. That's my I'll thing. Say, go listen to Palisade. Go listen Palisade's to Palisade's heating up. Yeah, Just, you guys. Oh you guys, yeah, Palisade's, Palisade's heating, heating up. up. <laughs> uh, yeah, did you? I it, I'm all caught up on the dailies, so I know where Palisade's going. Uh, and I can it's hot, right? You. It's heated up. Palisade is heated up without a glove on. It's hard to say it's heated up considering how hot it was, but it's hot. It's, it's hot. It's heated up. It's, it's boiling. We can't blow up any more suns. Thanks, thanks, Phrygian. Yeah. yeah. Can't blow up any more suns with a U. Yeah. <laughs> because we're out of nearby It's a war. Suns. We're blowing up many people's suns. It's true. Uh, blowing up suns, that's Hyron, really. That's, that's the Hyron story. Um, But for now, good night to everybody. Thank you for watching. And we will see you soon. Goodbye. Bye.